as Canada's top central banker from 1987 to 1994, uh, John Crow clearly believed in the power of monetary policy to make or break a country's fortunes. And he hated inflation as much as the Nobel Prize winning Mr. Friedman, who died yesterday at the age of 94. But even Mr. Crow found that real life can't always be forced perfectly into economic theory. Not even the solid and high profile theories developed by Mr. Friedman. The bank gave it a college try. It really did, Mr. Crow said yesterday. It just doesn't work that way. This is a man under whose governorship of the Bank of Canada, most of the Canadian debt was accumulated. I applaud Mr. Crow being an honest, if belatedly so, man to have come clean. If you have John Crow saying it was all a mistake and there's not even an editorial in the, in the press, it tells you something very, very important. Newspaper men as a guild are a very, very brave fraternity. They stick their noses into the affairs of Afghanistan and Iraq, good. Many of them lose their lives. It is not in the nature of good reporters, and there are a lot of good reporters around, to let an item like this pass without commentary. Nevertheless, that is exactly what has happened. Um, it tells you a lot about our democracy.